Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this morning I left the house pretty early again. Um, headed down here to Kentucky. Um, thankfully it's light out now, but uh, it's pretty much dark my whole way down here. Um, so I got to like Kentucky, it's like 8.13 now. So I'm only about a couple minutes away from where I'm picking up some tractors at I got 10 tractors bought on an auction so I'm headed down and I hired a trucker he's gonna be down here in a couple hours so hopefully we can get them both or all of them on two loads better anyways because I really don't want to come back it's a three hour trip down here normally by a load off of this auction every time they have it but this time i bought two loads so hired a trucker is cheaper to hire a trucker than uh come back down here three times so um yeah so i'm about there and i'm gonna get loaded and then i'm hoping the trucker is there by the time that i get ready to leave um so i can talk to him for a minute and then hit the road for home wait for him to show up and get him unloaded so hopefully i can fit five on me hopefully if not hopefully he can fit six on him um if not we're gonna be stacking so i guess i will pick you guys up when i am probably loaded hopefully i can get some footage of them loading him so i'll pick you guys up when i get there back on the road again sorry i didn't pick you guys back up there but i got busy loading my load and then a couple hours later after i got well got my load loaded all chained down and then the trucker pulled in so i helped him load and uh got out of there probably 20 minutes before he left um it's 11 now so trying to beat him back because i still got stopped for fuel and whatnot so I want to leave a little earlier before him so I could uh, stop and get fuel and try to beat him back. But I got five on my load, barely fit five on his load. So I got them all, I think. I just remembered that there is a rear cultivator off of a CA Alice that I didn't get, but it ain't worth going back for, so. Um, oh, well, I guess I'm sure they'll call me or uh, have me pick it up next to go around because they're pretty good guys down there but we're loaded got a lot on sideways two ca stacked on top of each other and whatnot i got a variety of colors this time so i still got a three hour drive home so i'm probably gonna stop for fuel maybe grab a bite to eat because i ain't ate yet today and uh hit the road for home and try to beat him back so i'll probably pick you guys back up at home unless something goes south and uh, see if I can't get the trucker unloaded and hopefully maybe get a little bit of footage of it. So I'll pick you guys back up when I get home. Right like that, one load made it home. Um, the trucker ain't gonna make it here today. He's gonna come in the morning. Uh, they, a bunch of trucks were coming in and out of the auction yard there and it's starting to snow. And uh, he couldn't get out so it took him an hour to get out of the auction yard. And then uh, down there in Kentucky in a little town called Bedford, he said there was a police chase, so we had to sit on the side of the road for a while there too. So it's gonna be pretty late before he gets back into town. Um, so he's just gonna stop by in the morning and uh, I'll unload him then. The only issue is, is this trucker he's hauled for me in the past a couple times and uh, his rig won't fit down my road. So i am got to take a skid loader to the end of the road and get him unloaded. Um, which uh, in the morning is gonna be great because I can have my trailer cleaned off tonight and haul the skid loader um, down to the end of the road instead of drive it because it's quite a ways down there. It takes like 15 minutes. Um, and then I can uh, 
load a couple of the tractors up on my trailer in a skid loader or load my trailer up with like three or four of the tractors um, and bring that on uh, back home here and then uh, walk back to the skid loader and push the other one or two back um, instead of go back and forth each time with the skid loader because that'd take all day. But uh, yeah, so I made it home. Um, felt like a decently heavy load. Not as heavy as I have hauled in the past, but I think I got all the weight uh, distributed pretty pretty well. Um, looks like there might be a little more toward the back, um, but my truck's sitting pretty level, so that's good. It rode pretty decent, um, but I made it home, and that's all that matters. But So we'll start at the front of the rig here, and uh, in the bed, I got a ton of parts um, for all the miscellaneous all the tractors that are on my trailer and on the semi. Um, for some reason, people like to pull the parts off before they send them to the scrap, or uh, let me rephrase that. They like to loosen all the parts and then send them to the auction. So then I have a ton of loose parts and whatnot. But uh, I don't know, it worked out pretty well. I got a whole truck bed full in there and then a, a trucker has strapped a few things down and whatnot on his rig so but then first up here on the trailer we got a john deere 855 with a mower deck on it um supposedly this tractor runs but has head gasket issues um and the uh, hood's all beat up missing the grill so i'd have to get new with that if it is just head gasket issues um the other side panels and the in the bed of my truck so if that one's just a head gasket issue i'm gonna fix it on up get a new hood and grill for it and uh probably auction time it off but uh i'll get off my trailer first and see what the deal is um then next up we got a ca with cultivators um this side cultivators is in my bed that side's on there and this is what i was meaning um but at the auction yard there was the rear for this tractor um, sitting at the yard and I did not get it um, so I'm gonna call them tomorrow probably and uh, see what if it's still there if it is if they'll be in the area anytime soon to truck it up to me or uh, I'll pick it up next run auction um, and then I got another CA right here which I kind of stacked on that CA because that CA is rough, so I really don't care about it. Um, but the only reason I bought this CA right here is because it went cheap. I mean, I have all the hood and everything, but it's got these side weights here. Um, those are worth some money, so that's why it was like, shoot, might as well buy it too. Um, and I can make my money back pretty easy off that one. The hood's hanging on there by, or the gas tank's hanging on there by one bolt, but all the other stuff I put in the truck. So these two CAs here are going to be the first ones to be pushed in, uh, stripped down, and the rest going to the scrapyard um, because I don't want CA parts. Um, well, I do some of them, but half the crap's junk on them, so yeah. And then next up here, missing a one rear tire, it's a, a Massey Ferguson 35 diesel. Um, fenders as you can tell are pretty banged up and walk over here the hood was loose and all that good stuff on there so I strapped it all down um, but it is a diesel doesn't have any of the injector lines on it so I'm not sure if the pump was just rebuilt or what um, but I didn't get the lines with it so but overall it's it's complete um, ain't the prettiest thing in the world looks like I had a loader on it at one time seats pretty well rotten but uh yeah and then uh it's that and then on the rear here we got a john deere uh 1020 diesel um a bunch of the parts off this are in the bed of my truck all the engine parts anyways i didn't get sheet metal and whatnot so what you see here is pretty much what i got looks like the uh calcium got sprayed out of one of the tires and uh rusted that all up but yeah that's all i got on this rig i got five tractors on the semi 
um, which I'll show you guys that tomorrow when I uh, get him unloaded. I'm not sure if I'll be able to film now because um, I ain't gonna have help around. So might not film him unloading, but after I get him unloading, unloaded, um, give you guys a tour of what I what the second load is. So I guess for now I'm gonna set you guys on the tripod, get to unchaining, and I'll wait for my help to get here and have him video a little bit uh, of me unloading all this junk. So I guess I'll set you guys on the tripod and get to work. the tracker so this case 1370 was on the rear of his trailer um, I just backed up to his trailer and winched it on my trailer and got it on there thankfully 
So that was the last one I just took off. One too bad. Uh, and then we come down here. There goes the trucker on down the road. Come over here. Stuff these in the pasture or the hayfield entrance. Right here we got a Massey 40 gas. Um, I have all the hood panels and whatnot for it in the bed of my truck and whatnot. Um, but it's a parts tractor. Here's the hood off the 1370 case in pretty good shape. But Massey 40 gas there, all complete. Um, looks like the draw bar's broke. Huh. Right here we got an Alice C. The only reason I bought it, because it had got a uh, three point on it. So I figured why not buy it, went cheap. Um, most of us can go the scrap, but yeah, can't beat a good deal. And then here, I uh, spent quite a bit of money on this tractor and uh, well, she slid right off the forks. So, oh well, you have bad days every once in a while trucker made the turn that trailer's a little long or a little shorter than his uh normal one i'm pretty sure but yeah so this d15 alice um i'm hoping the fuel tank and the one hood panel is good i know this hood panel is all banged up now because the exhaust but fenders are shot now which they were probably shot before but Heck, if I need to work on it on the underneath side now, I can uh, work on it pretty easy. But D15 Alice, complete. And uh, all the good stuff. Paid a little more for that tractor than I should have, but oh well, I got two loads in. Um, so, probably gonna leave all these tractors right here for now. I gotta go pick up another load of tractors um, up north. Oh shoot, I banged off the radiator too. It's all twisted in there. Dang it. This was not an operator fault. So y'all can put in the comments all you want. Young fella don't know how to operate a skid loader. Um, I do know how to operate a skid loader, thank you very much. But if I had a uh, better set of forks, I could do better or handle these tractors a little bit better but with what i got right now with what i'm working with this is how it's gonna roll so um it's a parts tractor anyways so come on it's junk but um yeah and then i got one other tractor too i already threw it in the uh driveway so let me hop in the skid loader and uh go up there and show you guys the last tractor on this load all righty and here's the last tractor off the load a john deere 2030 diesel um this tractor supposedly runs but has water in the oil um this is probably a another head gasket issue doesn't even look like the head's on there um hopefully another head gasket issue if it runs then i'm gonna diagnose this and uh probably find the original set of fenders because these are not the original set of fenders and not the original tires either these are 13636 um, i think i probably had 24s or something smaller on it at one point in time um unless it's a high crop model i don't think so i don't know ain't a deer man i can't tell you much but uh yeah so this one is a uh for right now, it's gonna be a fixer upper. Um, if not, I'll let you guys know in another video. All the other ones that I just showed you, parts tractors, um, you'll be seeing another video on all them. And uh, um, yeah, if you need parts off any of them or any of the ones off my load, let me know, shoot me an email, find me on Facebook. Um, I'll try to get to a phone call just i can't multitask i can't talk on the phone and work at the same time so if i don't return your phone call i'm sorry um shoot me a text and uh i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible um so yeah and here's one of the alice ca's already ready for the scrapyard um 
I already pulled all the good parts off and whatnot. They're sitting over here in a pile. So, um, the CAs I'm not gonna film. Um, but yeah, I got all the parts off this one. Nice set of frame weights. If you guys need a set of frame weights, um, not cheap, but you know where to find them. Um, so yeah, need parts, let me know. And uh, you'll be seeing another video on all these tractors. So I guess if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And uh, yeah, go and get another load of tractors today that I bought last night. So you'll be seeing that in a uh, coming up video. And I uh, guess I'll catch you all the next one. Thanks for watching. And if you were curious, the D15's toast. Damn, what a rough morning. Gave $1,400 for this because the sheet metal was nice. And all gone now. Draw bar's bent. Oh, heck. Fuel tank's all dented up. Fenders are shot. Probably shot to begin with, but still. Damn. She is toast. Hopefully I'll make 1400 back off of it. Damn it. Here's the hood panels. Tried to save them, couldn't get them de detached. This one's just bent around the exhaust hole. This one's bent pretty good everywhere. Couldn't get that one off. Dang air cleaner was catching it. Go, oh, and if that ain't the only problem this morning, yeah, we'd be running on a flat today. Oh, right here, we got a hole in the tire. What a wonderful Tuesday morning, I tell you. Wonderful. Hit that subscribe button, I'll feel a little better. Thanks for watching.